Tonight, Valley leaders are coming forward, calling for more oversight at an Arizona State Hospital following the attack against employees. It follows the arrests of three patients accused of holding hospital staff hostage and threatening to hurt them with medical equipment. Holly Box in our newsroom with more on this. Holly, you looked into the hundreds of assaults reported at that hospital. Right, Jared. Well, digging through the hospital's report, I found that there were nearly 700 assaults reported at the hospital last year alone. The hospital describes these as unwanted touching or physical contact. I spoke with a former employee who says the hospital is not a safe place. I think the saddest thing, Holly, is there's been no change, and if anything, it's gotten worse. A former employee at the Arizona State Hospital who wants to remain anonymous says they recently left the job because of the conditions inside the hospital. I was afraid. I was afraid for my safety. In last year's report from the Department of Health Services, who oversees the state hospital, it shows there were 626 assaults in the civil unit in the hospital. 265 of those were patients assaulting staff. In the forensic unit, there were 51 assaults. 26 of those were patients assaulting staff. There were also 370 reports of patients threatening staff. Honestly, it's traumatizing. Just yesterday, DHS said three staff members were allegedly assaulted as patients tried to use medical equipment as weapons toward them. They are calling the incident extremely rare, but State Senator Nancy Bardo says that is not true. She is speaking out tonight saying, I've been contacted over the years by numerous courageous whistleblowers on the many dangerous incidents, injuries, patient conditions, and lack of staffing that has led to what I see as a collapse of operations at the Arizona State Hospital. Bardo wants independent oversight for more accountability. It's something the former employee wants to see as well. There is no oversight. There's no checks and balances. And at the end of the day, there is just a not, not enough staff to run that hospital adequately. And DHS tells me that full staff at the hospital would be 749 people. Right now, there are more than 100 openings, including 21 security officer positions. Guys, back to you. Holly Buck, live for us. Thank you for that, Holly.